Hi, today we're going to work on number 45, the William Tell theme. Um, this theme is written by a famous Italian composer named Giacchino Rossini, who lived in the early 1800s. Um, and it's a really familiar song that you hear a lot, um, especially, I don't know, there's always horses involved. Da 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 And I think it's because it's in the opera, it's about um, somebody riding a horse. Anyway. Uh, so that is what we're going to do today, but there's a new concept that I wanted to talk about, and that is the pickup note, or also the fancy word for it is called the anacrusis, okay? Typically, we just call them pickup notes, um, but if you want to be really fancy and have and learn a big word, the word is anacrusis, which means just before. Um, so what this is, is if you look at the music, you're going to see that there's one beat of music right before the beginning of the song. So it's not a full measure, it's just one beat. And in this case, two eighth notes, right? Da da da, da da da, da da da, da da da, da da. Um, and the purpose of that is sometimes we need a, like a little bit of a lead in until the beginning of the phrase. Not every time do we start right on count one. Um, and if you look at the end of the song, take a look at the very last measure and count the beats. You're gonna see that there's just three quarter notes. One, two, three. Um, but it's in 4-4 four, four time, right? So that's kind of weird. So what we did is we stole the end, the last beat of the measure, and we put it on the front. So in the end, it all works out to be even. Um, and that's why it's called a pickup note. So most of the time you'll see that sometimes in poorly edited music, you'll, you'll see an extra rest at the end. But that's just what's going on there. So if you look at every single phrase, and a phrase is going to be the times between the beginning and where there's a rest or a breath mark, you'll see um, that the phrase actually starts right before the measure. And if you're a snare drum player, there's no breath marks in your music, but you can kind of hear it. Uh, the snare drum part is written to sort of mimic the same uh, ideas as the melody. So that's just something to be aware of. So the way when we count off pickup notes, when we start them, instead of going one, two, ready, go, We'll count all of the counts in the measure that would come before that pickup note. So in this case, it's on count four. So we're going to count one, two, three. Da, 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 da. If there were two beats of pickup, we would just count two. One, two. Da, 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 da. Um, and so that's kind of how it works. Sometimes there's even just an eighth note pickup. So just so you know, and again, the fancy word is called an anacrusis. So let's clap and count. Let's clap and count number 45. Remember, there's a pickup note, so we'll start after the count of three. One, two, three. Four and one, two and three, e. Four and one, two, three, e. Four and one, two and three, e. Four and one, two, three, e. Four and one, two and three, e. Four and one, two, three, e. One, uh, 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 uh. And four and one and two ooh, three e. Let's say our note names for number forty five. Remember, we'll start after the count of three. One, two, three. Beef, 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 eef, f, g, beef, 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 eef. G G F D beef 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 F G beef 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 G Eve. Let's play number forty-five, William Tell. Remember, there's a pickup note at the beginning, so the count off will go one, two. Three and then you start. One, two, three. 